Lawrence Naval Museum, and I'm currently standing at the Monitor Merrimack Overlook Park on the corner of Chesapeake and Walnut Ave. Behind me is the Monitor Merrimack Bridge, and directly in front of me is Fort Monroe. And it was at this point that observers came to witness the first ironclad battle between the USS Monitor and the CSS Virginia. On March 8th and 9th, 1862, the Battle of Hampton Roads was fought in this body of water at the mouth of the James River between the ironclads USS Monitor and the CSS Virginia, formerly known as the USS Merrimack. Hampton Roads, where the James and Elizabeth Rivers empty into the Chesapeake Bay, was crucial to both the Union and Confederacy in their war strategy. The Confederacy sought to break the Union blockade of Norfolk and to protect water access to Richmond, while Union naval forces wanted to maintain the blockade and the ability to advance towards the Confederate capital. The opposing ironclads were a strange sight to those who saw them, having different designs than all the other vessels afloat. Eyewitnesses tried to describe the USS Monitor in terms like a cheese box on a raft, and others recalled the CSS Virginia looking like a floating barn roof. The USS Monitor was steam-powered, iron-plated, and included a rotating turret allowing for 360 degrees of fire. The CSS Virginia, having an iron-covered casemate built upon the hull of the former USS Merrimack, was steam-powered as well. Unlike the Monitor's single turret, the Virginia had gun ports on both sides and being larger, moved much slower in the water. When the USS Monitor reached Hampton Roads on the evening of March 8th, the ship's paymaster, William Keeler, noticed that civilian boats were leaving like a covey of frightened quails. That day, the CSS Virginia had destroyed two Union ships, and prepared to finish off the USS Minnesota in the morning. But when the Confederate ironclad attacked on the morning of March 9th, the Monitor appeared from behind the Minnesota, and the Battle of the Ironclads began. When the Monitor's guns fired for the first time, an officer aboard described it as music to us all, since the crew members of the Union ironclad wanted to challenge their Confederate counterpart and get revenge for the loss of the Cumberland and the Congress. The two ironclads closed distance and began their now famous fight. Keeler described the scene, writing, The vessels were now sufficiently near to make our fire effective, and our two heavy pieces were worked as rapidly as possible, every shot telling. The men at the guns had stripped themselves to their waist, and were covered with powder and smoke, the perspiration falling from them like rain. The ironclads circled each other, firing, trying to gain the advantage or a weakness in the other's armor. On the gun deck of the CSS Virginia, crew member W.F. Drake described the battle in which the monitor would go off and come around us, coming to closer quarters and fire her guns, the turret being immediately turned away, so we had a bad target for our guns. The ironclads fought for four hours, and at one point, Virginia attempted to ram the monitor. Keeler remembered, this was the critical moment, one that I had feared from the beginning of the fight. If she could so easily pierce the heavy oak beams of the Cumberland, she surely could go through the half-inch iron plates of our lower hull. However, although the crew didn't know it at the time, Virginia's ram had broken off, and so the monitor did not suffer damage. Finally, after a morning of battle, the two ironclads seized fire and left in opposite directions, both thinking they had won the day. Although neither ship was able to sink the other, the class is remembered as the first battle of the ironclads, thus changing naval warfare forever. This sign is another representation of our rich naval history in Hampton Roads. I'm Alicia Pullen from the Hampton Roads Naval Museum. Thank you for watching.